What's going on guys? Here I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a MacBook from the year 2008. I got this MacBook for free from a friend and uh, couldn't install Mac OS so I decided to install Windows 10. I'm going to be going over the installation process and a step-by-step -step tutorial. So be sure to listen along if you are planning to do this yourself because missing a step might cause it not to work. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to need for this, you're going to need a USB with Windows 10 on. Right like that. And you're also going to need the Mac, obviously, and I also like to get a mouse. I have a wireless mouse here because it's much easier to use. Now the first step is to put the USB with the beautiful Windows 10 into the laptop, so do so now. Plug that thing in and now you can begin the installation process of Windows 10. Hold the option key on the Mac, which is right beside the command key if it's your first time because I've actually never owned a Mac and this is my first one, so yeah. So once you're holding the option key, go up and hold in the power button and it makes a weird noise and a jingle. Just like that. Now you can barely even see it on the screen. I might have to zoom in here. So keep holding the option key until that pops up. Oh my goodness, and you can't even see it. Let me zoom in here. So for right now, that is as bright as the screen will get. I can't make it any brighter, and the camera won't really pick it up. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with it for right now, but hopefully when it is installed, it can be brighter. Let's hope anyway. So now that that has popped up and we put it into I don't know, something where you can click the drive that you want to boot from. We have the hard drive which is in the device already, which I don't want to use. I want to use the Windows 10 bootable with the USB logo. So just click the up arrow and it will immediately start downloading Windows 10 and getting the setup process ready. So everything about this is going to take some time. Not everything is just going to be snappy like that. For downloading Windows 10, it is going to take I don't know, 10 minutes probably, because also some of the steps that we have to do are not going to be on a normal computer. Because this is a Mac, you have to do some extra steps. So the Windows 10 is beginning here, and I'm just going to click Next, and click Install Now. So the setup is starting, and give it a little time, and I will come back. Sorry for the brightness of the display. I'm, I didn't know it was going to be this dark. You can just see the text down there. But uh, yeah, give it some time and it should be back in like a minute or two. And there we go. It comes up with the activating windows, which I don't have a key because I'm poor. I'm kidding, I just don't have a key for it. So you can click, I don't have a product key right now. And I'm going to choose Windows 10 Home, I guess. Never really thought about it. The Pro or Windows Home. I'll just do Home. I don't really care. And so here we also have... Uh, agreeing to some stuff, so just accept and click next. Now it says upgrade or custom. So I think I'm gonna choose the custom install Windows only, and sure enough, it brings up all the drives that are located on the MacBook, and we wanna find the SSD located in the MacBook. Sorry for the lawn mowing outside. Uh, yeah, wasn't wasn't really planning on that, but uh. So the storage device that we want to find is the SSD, the 150 gig, sort of looks like it. Maybe not, I don't know. If you can barely even see that. Here, let me zoom in. Yeah, you can just so see it right there, the 148.4 gigabyte. So here we have the recovery. This is very small and that's... Now if we click format, we need to put a partition on it. So this is where the first step of downloading or installing Windows. So I actually went and got myself the other camera so you can see it much easier and sure enough you can see it way easier. So pretty much what I did is I selected the SSD right here and you really can't install Windows on it because you need to format it to a GDT format. So to do that we're gonna do shift and then the FN key and F10, which is the volume mute, I think, on this laptop. So tapping them all at once brings up CMD or command prompt. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow these exact steps that I give you to format it to a GDD format. So first things first, you're gonna type in disk part, all one word, and it does that for you. Now you're gonna do list disk, actually it's just a list disk. And it brings up all the disks that are listed. So here we have 
the SSD and then the USB plugged in. So next you're gonna do select disk and then the number of that disk. So that would be number zero right there, the SSD zero. So select disk zero. And there I already made a mistake. Right there we have to put a space in between disk and zero. So pretty much all you have to do it again, select disk zero. Now it is selected. We're gonna type in clean now and hit enter. Give it a couple seconds, and there it successfully cleaned the disk. Now we're gonna type in convert GPT. I think before I said convert to GDT, it's actually called converting the hard drive to GPT partition, the format style. So after you typed in convert to GPT, hit enter, and it successfully converted the disk to a GPT format. All you have to do then is type in exit and it'll exit command prompt for you now clicking exit after that is complete we should be able to refresh and here we have drive zero the unallocated space which is the ssd which we can now install windows on now if you come into the problem where your hard drive is not formatted it is very easy to reformat your hard drive so do pretty much exactly the same shift fn and then the mute button so f10 and it brings up command prompt once again you're gonna type in, then type in once again, disk part, all one word, hit enter, and it puts you into the disk part. Now you're gonna do list disk. Gives you all the disks, and then you're gonna select disk zero. Then you're gonna type in clean, once again, hit enter, successfully cleaned it. Now you're going to do create partition primary. Successfully created. Now you're going to do format fs equals, uh, that was plus there, equals ntfs. Just exactly like that, all lowercase on that half. And then you're gonna hit enter and it'll start formatting and it actually takes sort of a long time but i'm not gonna do it right now because well i already formatted mine but honestly this can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour to three hours depends how big your drive is anyway this took about maybe an hour or two to complete so so after that is complete just exit out of command prompt it'll automatically save the disk partition and you are ready to install windows so now you can select your disk which is the ssd the 150 gigabyte and click next so now this is where the installation is really starting up and there we go installing windows it is copying the windows files now the next step is getting the files ready for installation installing features installing updates and then finishing up so now that windows is installing right now i will speed it up for you until like the installation process is done and we can start setting up windows 10. So after the installation is complete, now it's time to set up Windows 10. So I'm gonna do this as fast as possible. Um, skip, just a moment. Let's connect to a network. Let's skip that for now. I'm too far away from Wi-Fi anyway. I could probably get one bar. Choose three security questions. Oh, are you kidding me? And just another moment, please. Okay, Cortana, nope, sorry. Maybe some other time, Cortana. Now all of these, I honestly turned them all off because 
They sort of just make your computer run slower, so just turn them all. So now after the setup is complete, it just, Windows needs to do its thing and sets up all the stuff, which I don't really know what it does all, but um, yeah, as it says, it will take several minutes, it does, and it will take several minutes. And after this, I think you're ready to go right into Windows, actually. I'm pretty sure anyway, but I guess we'll find out very shortly here anyway. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll speed this up again. And there we go. Booted right into Windows. We are all ready to go. So that's pretty much it for the installation and setup. Now you can use Windows as you would normally use Windows. And if you guys have any problems with installing or setting up Windows 10, be sure to leave them in the description and I will try to help you any way that I can. So with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.